Hey guys and welcome back to the Anthony Coach channel and today we are looking at creating some custom buttons in Swift UI and if that's what you're looking for then it is indeed coming up. So I've got my Xcode project open, um, just call it custom uh, custom buttons in Swift UI. Uh, make sure you've got all that ticked off. Well, I am actually using uh, Catalina as well, so if you haven't got this, just run it on the simulator, it's perfectly fine, as it works fine. Right, so, uh, it's just a standard project, so as we come into here, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to copy this text and get rid of this, and I'm going to call on a VStack, and here, I've already got a couple of problems, okay, yes, okay, okay. Right, so let's paste this in here. I think it should go away. And we're just going to change this text to button. And this is going to be our first button we create in here. And this is where the button actions would go inside here. But we're not looking for that. Now, I'm going to give this the this same color. And I'm going to say dot white, and this is going to all this is going to do is change the text color for now. And I'm going to have a dot padding here, and then a background color. And I'm going to show you the reason for that in just one second. Color dot gray, right? So with this padding, and in Swift UI. I've been messing around a bit now for ages and I've noticed that everything has to be in order to get the results that we are, you know, as designers, as developers, we are looking for right away. So our users have the best experience using our app. So if we take out padding here, and as you can see, the button color has shrunk right down to the text, and then if we go underneath here and we add our padding as you can see this is going to be the size of our button but the color and the text is together and we don't want that because it looks messy it might be hard to read so in Swift UI it's a good idea to uh, code in order so we get the results that we are looking for straight away and there's no messing around going back so to this to make this look a little bit neater i'm gonna add a corner radius of 12. and that is our first button done simple as that quick easy simple done okay so our next button well, I'm going to show you how to use text and an image. Um, so we can just copy this here, bring this on down, and now in here, this is I'm going to take this out because it's just going to be a button. Um, with well, I'll do it, start all this again. Right, so we're going to say button, and we're going to open this, and we're going to use this. Um, action and label configuration and we're just gonna close this off this this and drop this okay right so we are looking to have an image and a text side by side so the easiest way to do this is to add a h stack in here and we're going to say image and then we're going to say system name and then i'm going to say mag nifying glass right 
and then we're going to just add some text alongside mm, search does that make sense right let's just see what happens here wait for all this to go away make sure I haven't messed this up does it need another one There we go, right, make sure everything's inside the V-Step, my bad. Um, so, when this recompiles now, there we go, that's how it We have the text with the image and then the text alongside, which is pretty cool. All right, now, let's get rid of this. Um, we w don't want to, we can use this if we want to. Copy and paste this down here. Add this in here. And it, look, you know, it's 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 all right, right? But we don't want to continue to um, copy and paste these lines of code in here to put them down here because it gets a little bit tedious, and then we can't really reuse our code, right? And it gets messy, as you just saw. So we are going to create a button style and button stars are you know pretty dope you can put all the stuff that we need in and then we call it underneath so well, for example we would say um, uh, button style dot rounded right and now if we go ahead and create this Um, this needs to be a public 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 um, struct and we're going to say rounded button and we're going to give this button style okay we can drop these lines and now we're going to say public punk body and we're going to give it off this configuration here and we're going to change this rounded button dot body to some view, okay? And that's important. Otherwise, it's not gonna it's not gonna come over here and do what we want it to do. So don't forget that. And now we are going to give this a configuration, and we can just come up here and we can copy this, and then we can drop this in here, right? And before to get rid of all the errors, we need to now have an extension that is a static member. I'm going to say where and base, and then we're going to give this the button style, okay? And then we're going to say static, static var, and we're going to use this up here in here and we're going to say this is a static member of rounded I'm going to copy this in rounded button we're going to close this off the brackets and then we are going to return um, and init dot no this should have been dot here my bad dot in it and then we're going to say rounded button and we're going to open and close those brackets and now this is we're just going to try this again hopefully this works this time and this repile and see and now we can come down here just go green for now you can add whatever color you want and now it is that easy to customize do custom buttons with image and text and now let's see what 
it looks like I want to make sure that I'm not in there we go I want to make sure that we're in this so there's no other problems but we can copy this and drop it down and all I'm going to do is keep this and get rid of the H tag copy that in and look at that the button has just changed and that is how easy it is to make buttons like this, buttons like this and with reusing code it's so so easy, so dope, so quick so and I mean this is great if you got a navigation bar just along here where you want to use an image and text underneath so yeah it's pretty cool so we're going to continue and go on um, now let's just make a button without the text but with the image and this is also easy we're just going to copy this paste over delete the text from there and we've got this new button just like that just with the image it's nice and small it's, it's not hard to do and then we just copy this over and we if we want to make this button into a circle we give this a mask and then we say circle and we open and close those brackets and but boom right there a circle button with an image it's just right there it's so simple and if we'd want to change the color again to red and all these buttons will change hey guys thanks for watching today's video and if you uh did indeed enjoy and get some knowledge from that video please hit the like button and if you want to support my channel please subscribe and i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you